Tom from the Corona team here. We just want to show you some of the things we've already been working on for the upcoming Corona 10 due out next year. Uh, it's early days yet, so uh, what you see here, the UI may change, functionality may change, and of course the scenes are just in-house test scenes. However, all the functionality you see is already in the daily build, Corona 10 daily build for 3DS Max. Um, you can expect to see it coming out for C4D soon. If you want to try it for yourself, though, I'll put a download link in the description, and I'll add one for C4D when it becomes available. And with that said, let's dive on in. First, I'd like to look at some changes we've made to the Corona Clouds system that was added in Corona 9. Previously, it only worked with the sun in a realistic mode, where it was the sun color was defined by its angle in the sky. Now, however, you can use clouds with the sun in direct input mode, where you select an arbitrary color by yourself. Uh, in this example scene, we set the sun to be kind of a blue color to give a kind of moonlit nighttime effect. Of course, you can use any color you like. Another update is that the Corona camera now knows what medium it is in. This applies to when it's inside some sort of volumetric material. Um, you can also give the camera a size and show that size in the viewport. Uh, this is handy for having the camera half inside and half outside a volume. Like another example here, we have a simulated uh, Chaos Phoenix pool the camera is half under the water, half above the water. And you can see the comparison with Corona 9 in the little box in the bottom right. Another effect of this is that the camera can now fly through volumetric materials such as OpenVDBs and Phoenix simulations. You can see us here flying through some VDB clouds. Um, oddly, that reminds me of something. Corona. Okay, I promise I will never sing again in one of these videos. The Corona scanned material was added in Corona 9, uh, giving you access to Chaos Scans materials, and we're making improvements to that. First up, you can now drag and drop from File Explorer into the Corona Scan material. Next, we have support for triplanar mapping in the material. Then you can also apply custom bump and displacement to the material. And finally, the material can now be previewed in the 3DS Max viewport. We've improved the rendering of caustics for IR resolution images. Here, playing in the background, you can see an A-B comparison of the difference. We've also improved rendering times when you're using Corona's render selected option. This can show up to a 600% increase in speed uh, when you are using Render Selected to render just an object on its own. And in this first daily build, there are a number of smaller improvements too. Out-of-core textures are now enabled by default, giving you uh, default memory savings. We've added a button to batch load maps in the multi-environment dialog. Works very similar to the batch loading in the multi-map. Uh, for distributed rendering, if assets can be found on the remote machine, they won't be downloaded from the main machine anymore. You can create light mix elements by 3ds Max layers. Uh, we've done part two of our speed improvements to rendering in the material editor. Uh, the viewport performance, uh, that would slow down with a Corona light with an IES that had a missing path, and that's been fixed. And we've also improved performance when rendering with masks. And that takes us to the end of this video. Hope you've enjoyed a quick look at some of the things that we've already got up and running for Corona 10. Do keep an eye on the forums and the roadmap to see what else we have planned. And uh, thanks for watching.